Hi kids, my name is Joycey Horsey. Are you ready to read with me? Yes, yes, yep, yep, yes! Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's go! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe! Today, we are going to read the book, Why We Stay Home. Susie learns about coronavirus. Are you ready? Let's begin. Millie, are you awake? Susie asked. Susie was having a hard time sleeping, so she figured she would see if her older sister was still awake. I am now, Millie responded. What do you want, Susie? I was just thinking how happy I am that me... You, Mommy and Daddy have been staying home together. It's fun, Susie replied. Yes, it is nice having Mommy and Daddy home with us, Susie, Millie responded. But we have to make sure that we remember the reason that we are all home right now. Yes, I know, Millie, because of coronavirus. But what is coronavirus anyway? asked Susie. Coronavirus is a virus. A virus is a really small germ that you cannot see. There are other kinds of germs too like bacteria and fungi. Germs are everywhere. They are on our bodies, chairs we sit on, and even the door handle to your favorite ice cream parlor. Some germs are good. Some are bad and some don't really do anything. The coronavirus is a bad germ and it can make some people really sick. Some of the people at greatest risk of getting sick are grandpa and grandma and Mr. Jones, our neighbor whose buddy has had a hard time fighting off germs. So everyone has been staying home to make sure we don't spread coronavirus to them. This is what quarantine means. Some signs that someone is sick with coronavirus are cough, fever, and sore throat. We can do our part by preventing the spread of coronavirus by washing our hands, wearing a mask when we go to the grocery store, and standing six feet apart while we wait in line. This is called social distancing. Oh, I see, says Susie. But Millie, since we've been at home, I've really missed my friend Alex from school. I understand, Susie. It can be very hard not to see friends and family that don't live with us. But there are still ways that we can say hello to them. We can video chat with them on mommy's computer. We can call them on the phone and we can also send them messages to check on them. Some people do not have mommies and daddies or even sisters with them and they are alone in quarantine. So, it is important that we check on them. I understand, Millie. But, Millie? Susie replies. Is this how it's going to be from now on? No, Susie, it will get better. We just have to keep sticking together. The end. Hi, kids. My name is Cookie Cow. See you next time. Bye.